what's the lead time that would make you safe on time and cost and still get a very effective uh, uh, output? Because you make, make, make profit, you're not a loss. 70% uh, of your finance will be stored in inventory. Mm -hmm. And also your supply chain has to be very, have it, very, very clean. Work on your supply chain. It's one thing that we, as engineers and designers, we kind of leave it out. Mm -hmm. And your cost effect will be built on your supply chain and inventory. And then also, what is your production method and process? Because if you have a production process, it makes it easier for you to identify what you need and then where you're buying it from. Because if you have a very long production process, it also keeps on your time and then adds on cost. What we do is like, instead of uh, getting exact number of resistors, exact number of GSM chips, we kind of like um, say, let's order for twice as much. Because sometimes when you're assembling those things, some get kind of spoiled and lot and so on. Therefore, us ordering for excess enables us to kind of like continue the work instead of us stopping our work and ordering for extra components. So we kind of like order for excess components to ensure that our development phase is much more faster. Of all of the struggles um, that we've had as an organization, none have impacted us as much as lack of inventory, running out of stock. Um, and, you know, it is, um, again, we're, we are not so well funded that we can just go fill the storehouse up with, with inventory. Um, and, you know, and we haven't done all of the R&D so that we can allocate all our money over there. Um, and, it, and, you know, particularly um, like that customer is unfortunately experienced. Um, all too often, you know, uh, we, we build what we think will be enough um, and then we sell out faster than we thought, um, and then we go to build some more, and there's a component that's not available. There's a delay, um, so that's been a, honestly a huge challenge, and uh, and one that you know um, we're we're still struggling with. Okay. And then we've also discovered uh, how to uh, build our production line, starting from where we source local materials. So we only import where we cannot we cannot get in Nairobi, in Kenya. Okay. So it has to be the, our last resort. The only way I'll import something if, if I can't get it at all in, 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 in Kenya. Okay. And so I'll only import if I know I can't be able to get it locally. And that saves us so much time. Because you, you order uh, components for $2,000 and it takes you two months to get here. You've lost yeah. two months of, of time and you've actually put all your money in inventory, which is not, and has no return in two months. Yeah. And so I'll only go out there to get things which I'm not, you know, partying again. And actually came across some Excel sheets that are able to kind of like track your, like the lead times, the suppliers, the component costs, such that you have, like you really know exactly this is, this, the final product will cost this amount and I can sell it for this amount. Are there any softwares that you use to track your, your production process and all that? We have developed our own method which we use to, uh, uh, you know, come up with uh, the cost of the product and how to be a calculated lead time. And so we actually, it took us about six months to opt the goods randomly and then see what lead time would best attach to our product. I think that, um, you know, we're, we're still at a stage as a company that we're using uh, contract manufacturers, um, which adds a tremendous expense, you know, to, to the product. Um, and, you know, that's a real necessity in the early stages. You know, we're now at a stage that um, we're shipping Kios, we're getting them, you know, to, to market. Um, and we've actually just engaged a resource that, uh, to set up our manufacturing facility here in Kenya. It'll allow us to have that close proximity between our engineering team and our manufacturing team. And I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be a real boost for us being able to iterate on new product designs.